Hey guys, something a little bit different. I just wanted to show you my workflow when it comes to adding images to my blog. So first off, I take the picture of the interesting item. I, the Canon takes great pictures, I must say. Um, that's the picture I want to get onto my iPhone. So, I have already have it configured to connect to my Wi-Fi. My access point is just around the corner here, but I think the Wi-Fi here is quite... Um, the antenna here is pretty weak, so I, I usually just place it on this thing here. Then I launch this awful, awful Camera Connect app from Canon. And then wait, wait a long while. Um, yeah, this is heartbreaking. I mean, this is why I, I reach for my iPhone instead of my, my Canon half the time. Because this just takes just way too long, Canon. You've really got to sort this out. Okay, um, I can either use this or this. I, th I find it easier to use this because whoever developed this app is insane. It's very sluggish when you're in that menu. So now the, f the image is transferring over the Wi-Fi and um, it's still quite slow. <sighs> My Wi-Fi is very, is you know, the latest AC and ubiquity. There's no reason for it to be slow. So, once it's downloaded, I... There's a horrible icon here. Then I usually launch, put it into... Um, uh, what's it called? iOS Photos. I have a look at it. I go into the... Uh, what do you call this thing? I, adjustments. That thing. I usually hit the wand, because the wand just makes the picture better. Sometimes I go into this this little tool here called Markup and I might sort of like annotate the image. Actually, I want to point out the last four digits there. Then I, then I click Done. Uh, and then I go into Safari I have this um, PHP script that uploads to my S3 bucket the image I select here using the power of the web. All I have to do here is um, give it a name. I should call it New Wallet. So just give it a name here. Then I click upload and it should be there. In fact, I'll just show you how it works on my computer in a bit. Um, yeah, I get, I get an alert. Oh no, what just happened here? What just happened? So now it's on my computer. Ta da! Now I put it in my blog. Oh, where's my blog? Not there. I use Cloudinary because it does all the resizing automatically. So. what I want my new wallet to look like. Oops, you probably can't see any of that. Then I make it and then I go back to this thing and then I refresh the page. Take some time for Cloudinary to download the whole thing. Um, mm, the header was a bit wrong. What I, what I want my wallet to look like. Make that builds mine. I 
Okay, so that's how I get. Sorry, that's how I get my um, my my image that I take from my Canon. Um, and then I annotate it on my phone and, and then upload it to the phone and then it's on my S3 bucket which I then use in a blog or something. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you have any tips to better my workflow, please let me know. Otherwise, please like the video and uh, subscribe. Cheers guys.